I walk from my home in a village in Narbra, walk to the train station, we can find the platform, and I say to Nelly, find the ticket office door, and we open it and we can get to a member of staff to talk to. It's very important because seven years ago, I had an accident, I didn't have the proper assistance, and I got onto a train, I slipped, my bum hit the platform, and my legs went under a stationary train. So that's what it's like when you, there's a lot of injuries of people getting on and off trains with not the right assistance. So this is why I'm involved in this campaign to make sure ticket offices are left open because if there's not a member of staff to tell me the right price tickets, to um, tell me when my trains cancel, get me a different route, on the most important thing is to put a, tr a ramp down and to assist me onto that train safely, guide me to my seat. I will not be able to travel, I'll be excluded, I'll be isolated and I have to stay at home. We just need the support of members of staff and this is why I support you to keep you going and to keep us assisting us so we can travel, continuously travel by train. We've got a government that seems hell bent on running our railways into the ground. They seem to have taken one policy after another about having a managed decline of our railways and if we look at what they've done just in uh, the recent times in terms of spiraling prices cutting more than 19,000 rail services more than 5,000 bus services that is why I am talking about a public transport system in a managed decline now in terms of the future of the railways what we need is a government that is in touch that is grounded in reality. We don't want a government that is out of touch, out of ideas. Now we've got a prime minister, a prime minister who doesn't even want to travel by rail. Even to go to nearby Norwich, he needs he needs to get on, get his helicopter out. That's what we need. Is we need a prime minister and a government that believes in our railways, that wants to invest in our major rail infrastructure projects, that wants to invest in skills and apprenticeships, that wants to have an annual rolling program of electrification of our railways, that wants to increase the amount of freight going on our railways. We need to be tackling the climate crisis, but we also need to be tackling the cost of living crisis. So that's why we need a government that believes in public transport, that believes in our railways. People up and down this country are sick and tired of their communities being hollowed out. Our post offices are being closed. Our pubs are being closed. Our banks have withdrawn from the high street. Everywhere we go, all the community assets are being hollowed out in the name of profit, in the name of modernisation. That is the most abused word along with reform. Modernisation. It's cuts 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 that's all we get from this lot over here and let's not forget the responsibility for this is not with the train operating companies as much as we dislike them it's with rishi sunak and the top people in the cabinet the choice and the decision to shut the ticket offices to de-staff our stations to make a quarter of our members working on the stations redundant in the notices they've already given to us is a political decision by Rishi Sunak. It's a political decision by Jeremy Hunt. He's taken on the consultants. He's taken on the junior doctors. He's taken on the railway workers. Well, the message has got to be from all of our communities. We are united as a working group, as a working class, and we will fight these cuts in our council services. We'll fight them in any service that's provided. And we want services for our people, the NHS, education, care, council services, whatever it is. These belong to us. These are national assets and we will protect them with all our might.